So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys three interesting bike tool slash gadgets I've been messing around with and really enjoy, and they won't break the bank. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding party pace, and living the supple life you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. So the first product is by this brand called Original Free Range, and the person makes these really interesting but simple uh, ways to carry things on your bike using neoprene and elastic cordage. If you're like me and you have multiple bikes and are constantly moving your tools and in particular your pump from bike to bike, then this simple product really helps solve that problem. So it's called the Quick Draw Single Shot and it doesn't look like much, but it's actually really clever. Basically, you slide your pump through the neoprene sleeve and this allows you to attach uh, your bike pump to your bottle cage. If you think about it, tube diameters and tube shapes are constantly changing from bike to bike to bike. But one thing that is consistent is that gap between the bottle cage. So unlike products like the Two Fish bike pump holder, which, which only really works on steel bikes, this will work on every bike because it's not dependent on the frame shape, but rather that gap between the bottle cages. So you can move this really easily from road bike to gravel bike, to mountain bike, to cargo bike, to whatever bike. And this really saves me the issue of having to carry a larger bag than I want uh, just to hold a pump. So dead simple design, works really, really well. I have it here on my favorite pump, which is the Silka Tadeco. And one of the best parts is that it only costs $12 and you can help uh, support a small bike business. Next really inexpensive but interesting tool is the Push Me Pull You Hex Wrench uh, that Riv Bike sells. Basically, it's a really simple two-sided hex wrench with a five and a six, two of the more common uh, hex sizes you'll see on a bike. I was actually able to assemble about 98% of the Rivendell with just this one tool. And of course, one of the super simple but cool things is they include it with this rare earth magnet so you can always have it with you on your bike's frame, as long as it's steel. So if you're like me and you constantly lose multi-tools or don't know which bag you put it on, you can simply move this from steel bike to steel bike to steel bike and have you know at least most of your bases covered. And yes, you can absolutely put this together on your own or you can support the folks at Riv and buy it for $10. So our last inexpensive and interesting bike tool is this laser leveling tool. And I know what you're thinking, why lasers? I first saw this when I got my bike fit with our friend Annalisa. And when you get a bike fit, you basically get a set of numbers that you can move from bike to bike to bike, but they can be kind of tough to measure because of the, how the different planes line up. Enter this laser leveling tool. What's cool about this is that it projects a line both on the X and the Y axis, and it also auto levels, which is pretty rad. So the way I've used this is by centering the laser on my bottom bracket and using the vertical line to measure uh, the setback of my saddle. Yes, you can use something like a plumb line, but this is way cooler because laser. Another way you can use this uh, when in coordination with a tripod is to see how level or unlevel your saddle is, or to double check that the brifters on your bike are just at the right height. It takes away all that existential doubt and you can really tell uh, if you have it in the right place with the laser. And beyond that, it just makes a pretty handy household item uh, for hanging up pictures and what have you. So what do you think of these three inexpensive but interesting bike tools? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this video was helpful or entertaining. And if you liked it, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And as always, keep the supple side down.